Hello everyone and welcome to the new tutorial made by Aqualud. Today we're going to show you how you can make low poly terrain in Blender 2.8. So let's get started. Here we are in Blender. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the default cube, the camera and the light source. Now let's add a plane and scale it up by 10. We're going to go into edit mode and right click on the plane and choose subdivide. In terms of subdivisions we're going to have 50. This is the value we found to be pretty good, but you should play around with it to suit your needs. Also, don't be scared if the poly count is too high, we're going to shrink it later. Before we actually get into modeling our terrain, we have to enable a proportional editing tool and make sure the mode is set to smooth. This will ensure that we will get a smoother and more natural looking terrain. Now, for the modeling, we'll be using the circle selection tool. You can enable it by pressing C. With it enabled, you're going to scroll up and down with the mouse to select a different size for the brush. Now, this whole part is about just modeling the basics of the terrain. Here we'll make the shape of the mountains, valleys, etc. We recommend making smaller bits at a time, as this will help everything look more natural in the end. You don't need to worry about making the individual bits of the terrain be a bit higher or lower. We'll cover that down later. Once you're happy with your shape, it's time to give it that low poly look. To do this, head over to the modifier stand and add a displace modifier. It might look like you just destroyed your entire terrain, but just wait a second. We're going to need a texture for this, so let's create a new one. We're going to go to the texture tab and change the type from image or movie to clouds. Now let's head back to the modifier tab and lower the strength. For this case, 0.1 is just about right. A higher value will make the terrain look more out of place, but be careful with not setting it too high. We're going to add a decimate modifier in order to make the faces even more randomly spread out also. Make sure to select triangulate and play around with the value until you get what you like. Now, let's apply the modifier and start adding materials. We'll be going for some basic grass, rock and snow mountain landscapes. We are going to be using the circle tool to select the faces that we want to change and just apply the material. This is the easiest part of making the terrain. And that is it. We recommend you change this terrain and play around with different values to see what fits your game. We hope you found this video helpful, so see you guys next week.